Okay, let's go ahead and talk about polls for a minute. This is a bit of a taboo word coming out of 2016 because most of the experts said Hillary Clinton was going to win the election. Clearly that did not happen. It was now President Trump. But the national polls were actually pretty accurate. They said Hillary Clinton would win the national popular vote by about three percentage points. She won by two within the margin of error. It is the state polls, the state models that were so off. And in fact, in Michigan, they were off twice. They said Hillary Clinton was going to win in the primary. She lost to Bernie Sanders. They said Hillary Clinton was going to win in the general. She lost to now President Trump. So clearly something was going on. Why were the polls so wrong? Why did the so-called experts get it wrong? For more on that story, let's go back to our 13 on your side studios in Grand Rapids. Reporter Sarah Makuda joins us with more. Sarah. Thanks, Nick. So I talked to Jeff Williams. He is our political expert from Public Sector Consultants about polls and why the projected winners in multiple polls during the 2016 presidential race turned out to just be dead wrong. Now, Jeff brought along his stats and his numbers. He gave us a very good explanation for why polls don't always play out the way we anticipate. However, he's still, still very much a believer in the process. Listen to this. I say polls of the general public are still very valid, and even with cell phones and the other difficulties in getting, getting people to respond, okay. public surveys are still time-tested and true. Okay. What we have to be careful is when we make the jump from a public survey to a survey of voters or likely voters. Okay. We've seen it before. I make a phone survey after the election and say, did you vote in the election? 90% of the people said they voted in the election. Wow. And we just saw from this graphic that we know only 63% of them did in 2016. Yeah. So one of the reasons that Jeff and I discussed about why the polls sometimes record the wrong information is simply that people don't answer their phones anymore. So it's hard to account for everyone when you can't record an answer from everyone. Now I know I rarely answer a phone call from somebody I don't recognize and I'm willing to bet that a lot of our viewers out there do the same. Now we're going to air my full interview with Jeff Williams tonight at 11 p.m. right here on 13 on your side and tomorrow I'm going to join Nick at the Democratic debate in Detroit so I look forward to being with him and sharing that experience with all of you tomorrow. Nick.